you may imagine that with a people representing such opposite poles of creed and culture complete unity is a thing which we cannot expect to produce india must always be a continent rather than a country population of different races rather than single nation but i am proud to say that we are trying to create ties of unity among the different sections of people we are establishing a stable government in those vast and outspread provinces and what is more important we are going forward instead of backward i have no hesitation admitting that there is poverty i defy any word to show me a great and populous country or a great and populous city where it does not exist misery and want there are the question is not whether they exist but whether they are going more or growing less in india where you deal with so vast a canvas i dare say the lights and shades of human experience are more vivid and more striking than elsewhere but if you compare the india of today with the india of any previous period of history you will find greater peace and order more comfort and contentment among a larger number of people superior justice and a higher standard of living than the country has ever previously known i am so sometimes lost in amazement at those critics who without caring to obtain first hand knowledge of the facts and problems of india <clears throat> protest to us that our rule is running the country and crushing the people but i am at the same time receiving letters from men of all walks of life in other countries asking me to tell them what is the secret of our wonderful and remarkable success in governing the country i am not so bold as to say that we make no mistakes in india i dare say we make a great man i am quite willing to claim a most liberal share for myself it is however impossible to explain everything that we are doing in india or to meet and to check every form of suspicion and attack even among the educated classes the most surprising notions prevail for instance instance if i take any particular branch of the administration and try to reform it with the object of producing a higher state of efficiency i find myself at once 
exposed to the change that I am creating a number of unnecessary and highly paid posts to be filled by men belonging to my faith. An administrator never takes into account such needless details as the race and religion of the men whom he wants for a post. What he wants is the best man for the post and the work to be best done for any part. I think one of the more important duties of any ruler of India is to find that actively encourage men of understanding, sympathy and broad vision to remove doubts and suspicions from the minds of the people about us, to explain our ideas to them and their to us. It is with this object. <laughs>